guy that st struggles with like really busting wedges. Like Derek and I talked about that a little bit and we worked on trying to like get a little bit more bow coming through so I could reduce the, the dynamic loft a little bit. Um, but I, st I still, I mean, Sam Wedge, I'm like a 110 guy. You can even, you can even hear it a little bit, just bottoming out a fraction too soon as you lose the dynamic loft or lose the shaft lean and add the dynamic loft. Right. Uh, you, yeah. can, you can definitely hear a little <laughs> interaction. Yeah. So I've gone to being a guy that, like, if I have, like, there's no chance I can hit a 60, 100 yards. Yeah. I just don't feel like that's not something that I'm really useful right. with, unless it's downwind and front pin and whatever. Sure. But it's just yeah. not a useful, useful shot. Thank you. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely an interesting one with with the with the, the 64. There's stuff. It's the full shots today. Mm -hmm. I'm great from 30 to 70. <laughs> you know, Absolutely. But, but um, I mean, it, it's not. There's nothing really there. that's giving me a, a huge a huge problem with it. It's just it's just a little excessive dynamic cloth. That's that's really all it is. Um, it's just, it's nothing that a uh, three quarter 55 won't fix, um, you know, and just to get it to go 95, 100, yeah, yeah. you know, that's, that's all it is. Yeah. Um, yeah, just your, your efficiency goes down a little bit more than I would, I would love, but again, it's the same, it's the same thing. We just, we substitute the same shot for a different club, um, slightly slower, that's all. The interesting thing is to have so much dynamic loft while you're not shallowing so much. That's yeah. the that's the weird one. I mean, you can even just picture that. It's almost quite hard to have the shaft leaning forward with uh, with a lot of loft. The only thing I would say on that, I'd be very curious as to what a um, force plate would say to that. The angle of attack might be, uh, uh, sorry, the... The, the angle of attack might be weight shift rather than handle position. Uh, so you might be shifting the lead onto the lead foot a little bit more um, rather than kind of forcing the loft down. That, that would be the, the only thing I could see. Yeah, something we've worked on is reducing dynamic loft because yeah. for a while I was, I was, for a while I was shallow with being fairly vertical. Right. So I got to where I was a little bit more down with staying with in a better putt because I'd kind of kind of stand up a little bit and yeah. get a little bit taller and kind of be more up at it. Mm -hmm. So we've been working on that, but in like, I haven't been on body track in a, in a while. Mm -hmm. I think it was maybe a year and a half or two years ago. And I struggled a lot with a really early push with pressure towards the target. Yeah. And then I would kind of back up. Mm -hmm. So I've gotten to the point where I have that early pressure, but I kind of post and stay there a little yeah. bit better now. Um, but I th yeah, it's, it's, I think that's weird. that's why I feel like, okay, it's almost about as full of a move as I can make yeah. at it, and it goes nowhere, you know? So it's, it's definitely <laughs> interesting. Yeah. Um, now, what, what, we, what we might want to do is still go four wedge system, but it depends what you want to do with the most lofted wedge, but we could still go uh, 45, 50, 54, 58. Um, rather than needing to go all the way to six, it just depends if you really need the, you know, the most lofted wedge at sixty. If you if you're lacking something around the greens, not having the two degrees extra loft, mm -hmm. but probably right now I'd probably lead you towards fifty, fifty four, fifty eight with okay. your wedges. Okay. I think. Yeah, I um, I'm trying to think of what. Let me check my mm -hmm. phone quickly, because I. I mean, and we can always, of course, always bump them, but what I just got put through just, so I ended up ordering uh, 5008 uh, and then 5610 mm -hmm. and then 6008. So, I mean, I would still go, uh, go 58 with six roughly with, as far as, or just bounce, alter that way. So I'll just take them straight into golf town, just go, I wanna, I wanna switch my 56 for a 54, my, 50, my 60 for a 58. Oh, sweet. When you've got the wrappers on, they'll do it in a heartbeat. Oh, that, okay, yeah. easy. All right, well then, just, so then, that might be a better setup. I've never thought about going that way because, yeah. I mean, I get a little bit more out of them. I think so. Right? I think and I was playing a, a 58 better. out of the bunk, out of bunkers and around the greens, and mm. I mean, can open it plenty, I think. Definitely, so, I think so as well. Maybe Especially that's the way okay, okay, well, let's, let's nudge that back to okay. 58 and see what we do. Okay.
That's better. Yeah, right on that. So right on 90s. Yeah. Because we were struggling a little bit with the, with getting that, you know, 81, 85, and I kind of figured 85 was about what we were going to end up with. Uh, every degree of loft worth about three, two and a half yards to three for you. So that just nudging it back to 58 should give us 90 on the fly pretty consistently. Okay, perfect. Should be ideal. Out of a good strike for sure. I, I, yeah. I felt like I was going to fall off the mat the I first know, time. I know. <laughs> on the ledge. <laughs> Will we just go a, a progression of the four degrees with? Yeah. Okay. And it, you can still go five with the pitch to the gap. That's okay if you if you want to go forty-five to fifty. That's that's fine. Okay. Um, and we'll see we'll see when what the nine ends up being whether nine's forty-one or forty. Okay. You know you could end up going sort of forty forty-five fifty. Yeah. Um, well, we wouldn't be wouldn't be against that. Okay. Um, Sounds good. But we'll see what gives you the the right gap and no. All right. Um, is that fifty-four? That was, that was a good one there. Yeah, really good. It's nice to know you've got a little, uh, little extra kind of gear in there with it as well. Right. Yeah, and that's what I, I feel like throughout all my wedges that I miss. I feel like I have to, I have to be so crafty with them all, <laughs> yeah. rather than okay, I'm gonna hit it and it's gonna go this far. That's kind of the. A little skinnier. I like that. Mm -hmm. Do you want any more? No. No, we're good. Do me a favor, Noah. Can you redo 60? Sure. It just looked like there's a little bit more speed in your action with 54 there. And uh, I just wonder if if that might be worth a few yards to our averages here. A couple more. No, I mean it is. It's a, it's a 90 yard club, isn't it? Yeah. It's just, it's just that. Yeah. Okay. No worries. Mentally too, being. Uh you know, if I just make a good solid swing, I get mm -hmm. 90 out of it. Yeah. And if, if the conditions need, then I can. I think just that two degree, knowing that I got a 58 in my hand rather I than a 60. Because well. like think the first useful. time looking at the 60, I'm like, eh. Yeah, I so. completely agree. Cool, try. So we are at right on 50? Yeah, so we should be starting to look at about 118, 120. I'd like that, yeah. Oh, in the same yardage. Yeah, it's pretty darn close, isn't it? Yeah. Where we need it. I think I'm aiming a little over there. Or it's interesting. I've been keeping an eye uh, on Face. The spin axis tilt. So as long as I see the spin axis tilt and right, as long as I see that, I'm, I'm okay. Okay. So it's it, it just it's a degree and a half up from where it was, but it's still one flat. Oh, so okay. it's still 63. Yeah. We could we could completely cure it and just go 64. I think I'd um, struggle outside. Yeah. I really I think I really would because if anything I, I I don't like a right start direction. No, they definitely no one likes to see that with the wedge. Yeah. the one that kind of just turns right yeah. across the flag. Like if it's immediately right of yeah. where I'm looking, kind of. And if anything, 
um, when I'm away from TrackMan for mm -hmm. a while. If anything, I get the face going this yeah. way. So I, I hit a lot where I'm trying to hit it over yeah. there and then swing out there. So I think as far as a tendency thing, then I'd yeah. rather th I've see just been kind of keeping an eye on that. As long as I see that it's not left going left, it's yeah. left going right, uh -huh. I'm fine. Okay. Kind of felt a little more that way that time. Squeeze a bit more out of it. Yep, I liked it. I like that a lot. Yeah, that that little combo there, Noah, looks nice. 50, 54, 58. Okay. One flat looks, looks Just straight really through. Good. Yeah. Okay. You need any more? Let's do. Uh, no, we're good. Let's do wedge. What's What's about average out of the guys on tour for six rounds? Like 92, 91, 92? 92. Yeah, 92. 93 was, I think, was the latest chart that they released. Yeah. Um, so, yes, I mean, I still, I still think most guys are, are 95 to 98 now, especially the guys coming on to tour. I played, um, I played with Cameron. Champ? Champ, yeah. Yeah, we played, uh, we were in the same event in Louisiana. Right. Just ridiculous, isn't it? I just, like, he's hitting two iron, like, over me. Yeah, I know. He's, he's an absolute unicorn right now, just in, <laughs> in how good that move is. Yeah. And it's ridiculous how good that is. What's the rest of his game like? Good. He, he struggled for a while with the putter. Um, in, I think in call it. <laughs> I asked him over there what I would see this fly. He said probably 132, 130. Um, he, uh, that's what he said he put a lot of time into, like, like around the injury, because he played in the Walker Cup, and then after that, I think he went ahead and then turned pro from yeah. there. Um, but he certainly holds a lot more putts than, because he has the opportunities. You know, he's just hitting wedges all day. That'd so be great. many opportunities, <laughs> isn't he? That's, that's for sure. Yeah. I think Rory's going to have a big year. Do you? Based on what I saw, like seen the last couple of days, he mm -hmm. just look, I don't know, looks different to me. And I never saw enough of it. Um, it's been good. Driving it good. He's, he's, he's overdue, isn't he? I mean, 2014 was the last big year he had. And yeah. It's too good. Yep. I should go a couple more, Noah, just because you held it online a little. Yeah, I like that there. That's good. Is that a, by feet, point, like a foot, right of target? So just, again, so just, we're just maintaining that tiny little bit of draw spin, left start line, right curvature, mm -hmm. it's, it's good. Okay. Nice no. Those are, that's about as good as I got. You comfortable with the, with the number? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. I mean, I, it's nice to see that, too, if I do square it up a touch more and want to yeah. jump on it, I've that, got it, which is I like. That's exactly it. You've, yeah. you've kind of built that into where you've got another maybe a third of a club in there, not, not quite half a club of distance, but maybe you know, four or five yards yeah. at your disposal if you want it, mm -hmm. which is nice. Yeah. Okay. Perfect, Noah. Fire it away. Pretty good debut. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> it didn't leave a nice uh, mark on it or anything. It's good to keep a little eye on the spin there. Sorry, spin, spin dropped a little bit. Really? Yeah, just need to keep an eye on that. That was your spin rates with your first one. Okay. You were about maybe a mile an hour less ball speed, which can contribute to less spin. Okay. So we'll hit a couple more, see if we see it stay that way. Pretty good there. A little more out of it. Um, same. Oh, really? But the speed was up, right? Speed was up, but the spin stayed very, very consistent to what the first one was. It's interesting. They didn't, did they change grooves or anything? They did not, no. I mean, launch is the same. What ball are you playing? Probably one, straight one. 
definitely the right ball for you, that's for sure. Um, but even last year's and this year's, same one? Hard to say. You really, I mean, the idea, last year's one, uh, as in 2018 one, very good for you. Okay. Um, performs like X with the driver, performs like Pro V with the wedges. That's a, that's a nice ball for what you need. Okay. Um, we'll wait and see what the new one does. Okay. They, they do make subtle enough changes that you can see, uh, see them with Pro V1. Okay, well, I'm glad I, I, I like the, I ruled out the X in, in a hurry because yep. I didn't like the clickiness, mm -hmm. um, especially in the shorter stuff, and I didn't make it to the woods. Yes. If I didn't like it there, he was even off the putter. I felt Scott and I were talking about that yeah. a little bit because um, I've played the one for a long time, mm -hmm. um, but just model the model the model, so I, mm -hmm. I don't know if, if I'll have to try the other one. Or there was a big change from the tour guys, um, big being like 15, 20% of tour guys all playing Pro V, because X was, had about 70% market share over Pro V okay. um, for most of the last you know, significant amount of years. Then when they changed the, the aerodynamics package on Pro V to perform more like X, a lot of guys switched over, because it again gives you the best of both worlds. Then becomes a, a feel preference. Do you prefer the firm feel, soft feel? That, that's, that's the biggest difference. Got it, okay. Well, I'm glad I've been playing the right ball. That's good. Just got a little more spin to it. Just mm -hmm. a little bit. Consistently right there. Still, yeah. Throw that down though, no, just take a little look at Pro V. Curious as to whether oh, okay. the, it's the ball that's making more of a difference here. So, did it stick out to you just because it was pitching wedge? Yeah, I just, I never really liked to, to lose spin. I like, True, you know, the, yeah. the player. <laughs> yeah. um, it should be you that dictates whether you, you gain or lose and just just the fact that that's exactly the same spec and you dropped probably 400 RPMs was a bit, was a bit strange. Strange, okay. Yeah. All right. So just, just be curious to see what it does. That's flatter. Did it go lower? Yep. So that should be the spin going up. A little bit. 100 RPMs. <laughs> but launch came down a a little bit, spin the upper fraction. Felt uh, hug, hug the face a little bit more to me. And that was that was hitting it right in the line, which obviously reduced or, or more of a closed face will reduce dynamic loft, which will decrease spin. Um, so okay, so we probably got we got probably got to nine. Probably two or three RP, uh, hundred RPMs of difference there. Okay. This will be interesting. There, you there go. it is. Okay, that's the, that, that's about okay. the number we want. Okay, all right. So that's that was fine. weird when you said that we had well we had the consistent drop. Mm -hmm. That was odd. <laughs> it's like okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, where that where that is is actually pretty good. Forty one oh, okay. and uh, sixty two and a half. So. It kind of matches in with what we're looking for. Um, Want to hit the Pro V? Yeah, let's stick to that. So would you see, like I think of this as like a 148, 150 in that area, mm -hmm. is what I've thought of. Like, it's like if I see that number outside, just whatever. It feels about right, okay. So I don't know how far it'll go. We'll see. I've got you one four six. Very close. One four eight. <laughs> Pretty much right there. One four six carry. One four eight total. It's interesting. That. I mean, even the spin in that one knows. Oh, ninety one hundred. a nice flight, Noah. Pardon? I like that flight. I like that one. There we go, 0, 0.0 <laughs> offline. <laughs> <laughs> so
So that's where I'm going to get the little extra out of it. Yep. A little rightward face. <clears throat> yeah, so versus the other ones, your ball speed just spikes, spin rate drops, half a club. Maybe, yeah, about, about half a club over the previous one. You gain five yards. Okay. Makes sense. Want more? Yep. That's pretty good there. I mean, it, it, you, can, you can cover 150 with a carry when you want it. Yeah. I mean, you, you're able to keep that ball speed there, get the spin back up. That's the key. So it flies correctly. Uh, you're not losing spin through closed face. Um, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Okay. Pretty s typical speed-wise, a 110, 112. Like I say, you start to really go up the gears as the club gets a little bit longer right now, so... Okay. Um, not surprised to, to see you kind of go up a little bit more. Okay. But we are still starting to see the, the correct spacing going on here, so kind of go up 46. Six iron? Um, so now we'll go to, we'll go to eight. Oh, eight, yeah. okay. So th this is how the, uh, the gap is starting to kind of appear. So we'll kind of monitor spin. Obviously, launch is going to stay um, relatively similar. I'm surprised that's that much higher. Um, huh. But the gap is the gap is good. You said I was, a, I think last time I looked more of a 12 yard. Should be bang on. At your speed, 12, 12 is perfect. Okay. Uh, one quick thing that I noticed when we worked together last time and I got outside, when I got to six and up, mm -hmm. um, I struggled early on with left, like uh, more addi more additional left than I had thought. Just staying too Just much Just kind of stay in there, like not, I struggled to kind of, so then mm -hmm. I kind of got into a little bit more of, okay, I'm just yeah. going to do it, yeah. make it happen. And that was fine. And then I've, I've gotten to the point now where I've gotten more comfortable with it, but even <laughs> still looking at the four and the five, sometimes I, they feel a, a bit toe down, down to me. But then I was watching one of your guys' videos and mentioning mm -hmm. better players usually are on the flatter side. I was like, well, I'll just leave it. <laughs> yeah, I so. mean, they, they generally are because the, there's, like we were talking about earlier on, your old tendency to, to get a little ex pelvic extension. So, you know, to stand up in the shot a little bit, well, that's going to raise the handle. Um, if you've been working on sort of staying down on it, yes. you know, that can keep the tilt of the head left and can, can leave the face hanging a little bit. So okay. we'll, right. we'll keep an eye on it. Okay, yeah, I just wanted to, I didn't say anything because I felt, I felt like it was going to, it was going to benefit me over time, right? Um, even from like a technique standpoint or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I just, I just, and it's, I mean, it still worked fine, but. Oh, it was alright. A little skinny, but that was just fine, though, wasn't it? Yep. Sounded nice, Noah. Pardon? Sounded nice. Thank you. That's a little more than I was mm, expecting. Definitely, me too. But encouraging. <coughs> Take it. So would you make would you make something weaker based on that, or just? Yeah, if it doesn't if it doesn't fit the progression, what I'd be probably likely to do is leave it for now until we see how things start to play out beyond this iron. So see what's going on either side of it. It's kind of been a trend that, you know, even with nine iron, you know, the first one was one, four, four, then four, seven, then five, one. So, you know, as you kind of increase speed, um, you, you are getting a little bit quicker and a little more out it. So okay. sometimes those numbers can be a little bit inflated in that you're hitting balls constantly. You don't get the game time reset that you would, you know, hit yeah. a shot, walk, hit a shot, walk. Yeah. You tend to be a little bit quicker if you're just standing there in a good rhythm and feeling pretty decent with things. Yeah. It's pretty steady on that number. That was, that was, that was bigger there, mm -hmm. ball speed wise. Efficient. Yeah, ball speed climb, climbed another little bit. Yeah, that's I fine. mean, that's, that's a 
it's not a forced 164 uh, eight iron. It really isn't. It's it's very true. I mean, look at it where the launch spin speed apex is a big thing. Uh, you know, there's no way the ball would be apex and as high as 120 if you are forcing it out through sort of manufactured dynamic loft. It's just it's just your speeds are going up. Mm -hmm. um, so okay. it's uh, it's fine, but we will keep a little eye because as we stand. We have a little bit of a gap up here and right now with between these two. So we've got about 16 yard gap between eight and nine right now. I see, yeah, okay. Um, now what we'll do is pay attention to, potentially, it's more like 14 because the first one with the, the nine was 144, then your best was 151. The 144 was maybe a little slow, um, so I'll keep an eye on it. Okay. All right, let's jump into seven. What's your guess? Not a guess. What, what do you think is going to happen? You'll probably be, uh, what did we say in that last one there? We were flying at 164. You're going to be, you're going to be seven iron, I mean, it's probably going to be 177, 176, it's going, which, is, which is strong for seven iron though. Okay. Toe strike a little bit, kind of floaty. Yeah, just a fraction heavy. Mhm. Mm a little skinny. That sounded good. It's better. Nice. Closer. Really nice. <coughs> you can see the kind of, it's interesting once you start to see them go, I mean, look how, like, they're very, very yeah. consistently mapped. I mean, you couldn't really get four clubs spaced, you know, any tighter than that. It's just exactly where you want it. So, from a spin progression standpoint, um, probably the, the 46. Now, we did see that go up to 95 when we changed to the Pro V1. To the ball, yeah. So, yeah, so we were seeing about, we should see about 900 RPMs of separation between club to club for you. Okay. Average players will see about six to 700. The higher speed players will increase the, the separation. Got it, okay. So now you're, you're good where you're at, All it's right. nice.